Morena everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would vlog because it's Māori Language Week here in New Zealand which I think is Te Wiki Te Reo Māori? I could be wrong. Um, so I thought today I would vlog and try and use some, is it, can I just say Māori words? I'm not sure. I'm, I obviously cannot speak it but I think it's always good to try and seeing as it's a week for it um i thought i would try speak some in the vlog today and i'll put the translation below for anyone who's interested um and again as i said i cannot speak the language but i'm going to try i just want to share that um that information <laughs> with you sorry i'm not making much sense but i just want to try um and i think it's cool because it's not spoken enough in New Zealand or at least especially not in Auckland I would say and um, when Trav and I did a little North Island trip a couple years ago we noticed that Maori language is so um what's the right word more abundant or more normalized not normalized but outside of Auckland and I think that's just because Auckland is a very new city so we don't have a lot of the old history like other parts of the country do so anyway it's a long-winded way of saying I'm gonna try my hardest if I get something wrong please um, let me know in the comments below the correct way of saying it um, because I just want to share with everyone and I want to post this today so that anyone living in New Zealand can try um, do the same for the rest of the week because yeah I think it's part of our culture here and we should try again as I said I'm probably going to butcher things but I have heard from people that they would rather we try than not try at all so I'm gonna try <laughs> um, so right now it's 9 30 in the morning and I'm gonna have some kai which is food um, I just can't I don't know what breakfast is actually you know what let me google it and let's try say breakfast if only you could see my tripod right now I've got the camera sitting on a Yui boom with a um, what's it called a kinder surprise toy like putting it on a slight angle anyway breakfast Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and say this. Parakui hi? Parakui hi? I think. Does it it doesn't pronounce it for me. It pronounces the English version. Breakfast. But there's no translation for the Maori version. That is just not helpful. Anyway, so I'm gonna have some porridge. I have been sick this morning. Again, I need to take my pills to help me not throw up as much. <laughs> um but yes, so I'll pop in throughout the day to try and teach you some things. Um, please, if you do know more than me, please, please leave in the comments below um, what you know. I could, I can count to 99, only because I can't remember what 100 is. But otherwise, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Right, so I have some kai. I have some porridge. And I also have a coffee. Um, actually, it's coffee. I don't want to be making things up, but I feel like coffee is like cafe, like K-A-W-H-E. Is that coffee? Oh my gosh. I will Google it before I put anything down here, but I think it is um, for my breakfast. Um, but because it's Monday. Oh, what's Monday? Oh, I'm so bad. Hold on. Okay. I think it's Mane. It doesn't have any of the little... The icons <laughs> I don't know what they're called oh my gosh this is terrible that go above it but it's m-a-n-e and I'm pretty sure it's not main <laughs> so I'm gonna go with Mane I hope that's right um I am I do have mahi today work I work Monday to Friday um so I'm gonna go and do some mahi now while I have my breakfast and yeah, I'll be back probably around lunchtime um, because there's a government announcement today regarding COVID and the alert levels here in New Zealand or Aotearoa, I should say, actually. Um, so we'll find out. I'm assuming we're going to be staying in the alert level we're already in because there's still COVID cases, but we shall see. Also, I've just been thinking about the give it a go. Kia kaha. No, what I that was not correct what it was earlier. I will find out what that actually means, but I'm pretty sure kia kaha is like be strong. So 
I don't think what I said earlier has anything to do with give it a go. Also, for anyone, sorry, there's a lot of also's in this. For anyone who is new to my channel and I just talked about vomiting before or being sick, the reason is because I'm actually pregnant at the moment. I'm, oh, okay, let me say 22 in Māori. Why has my mind gone blank? Um, rua te kau ma. Rua? Is it ma? I'm pretty sure it is, and I think weeks is wiki. I'm not sure what pregnant is, but I'm 22 weeks. Orua te kauma, rua, wiki, pregnant. Um, but I also have something called hyperemesis, which is why I'm still sick, and I don't know if there's a translation for that. All right, new word for you. I at this point don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's neru or neru, um, but it's for cat. So we have rua, nerus. This is squiggles. Hello, she's literally just come inside, which was great timing. And Oreo, who I'm not sure where he is, but sometimes he's on that bed, sometimes he's on Trav's desk, and sometimes he comes into the bedroom. Oh, he is here. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see him. He comes into the cupboard, hops on the bottom shelf, and sleeps on all my scarves. <laughs> so, this is little. Oreo and by little he's not so little he's actually huge. Are you hungry squiggles? <laughs> they actually still have a quarter of a cup left so we'll give you some more kai shall we? I just saw this on our local um, pack and save which is the supermarket's Instagram page and for those who don't know Ko-Fi is the colour yellow. Alright it is much later in the day now we've finished Mahi, Trav has as well, and I found on Facebook, I need to try and find it again, um, Morifem had like a little quiz, a 10 question quiz about how well do you know Māori, so I thought I'd try find it and do the quiz with you, I might move to the side, um, I'll try find it and then I'll like put it here, so that way you can do it with me. Are you going to do it with me? Not there. Trav's going to help. <laughs> I don't know how much help he'll be, but hopefully it's screen recording now. So it says Te Wiki o, or Te Rio Māori, which is Māori language meek, meek, weak. I can't even speak English. So that means it's time to put your Te Rio knowledge to the test. Answer these 10 questions below to see how well you know Te Rio. I cannot roll my R's also, by the way. If, that, if you're wondering why my R's sound funny, I can't even say my middle name properly, which is Dutch. So, bear with me on the rolling of the R's. Alright, question number one. Which Māori word refers to one child? I know tamariki is for children, but I don't know what one child is. There's tama, tamahine, tamaiti, and tamariki. I feel like the tamahine is something to do with a female. Because wahine, wahine is woman. <laughs> Trav's looking at me like he has no clue. <laughs> so I wonder if that means like girl or child girl or something. I wonder if it's just tama. I'm going to go with that. Tamaiti. Yeah, I don't know. Tamaiti refers to one child. Okay, question two. Solve this equation. Oh, math. Te kau minus fa equals, do you know the answer? <laughs> te kau is 10, fa is 4, so it's 6, so it's ono, 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 tahi rua toru fa, do you mean ono? I got it right. <laughs> um, question number 3. Aotearoa translates to the land of the long white cloud. See, I know that one. Number four. I said this one this morning. Morena stands for good morning. O, o Tau Tahi is the city of... I don't think it's Auckland. It's not Dunedin because Jacinda was in Dunedin today and she said a different word starting with O. What was it? Tau Tahi. What the Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch, Dunedin. Do you reckon Wellington or Christchurch? I reckon it's one of those two. I feel hesitant. I feel like it's Christchurch. I will go with Wellington. 
Oh, it was Christchurch. <laughs> I'm just glad it wasn't Auckland. That would have been awkward. <clears throat> Question six. What is the Māori word for meeting? Oh, I'm feeling hooey. Waiata, I think, is a song or singing. Puku is your belly. So it's not that one. Koha. Don't know what that is. Let's go with hooey. Yay. How many have I got right? I don't know. What is the correct Māori spelling for love? Ah, oh, aroha. Aroha means love. I actually worked with someone and her name was Aroha. I knew that one. Because you worked with her too? Or because you just knew it? <laughs> Probably from you working with one. <laughs> Alright, finish the rest of this song. Mahunga Paki Hiwi Puku I'm guessing it's ho Hope? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. What is that song? I wish I could hear the tune of it, it might help, but I'm just gonna take a stab in the dark and go with the first one. Way, way. Yeah, I, I actually have no idea what that's about. So if you know, please let me know in the comments. Number nine. Korero means, hmm, does it mean listen, speak, jump, or swim? I'm feeling it's listen or speak. What is it? Korero? I don't think it's listen. I feel like I'd remember listen. No, I don't think it's listen. Should I go with speak? Oh, it was speak. Alright, last question. If I'm talking about Fero Pango <laughs> and Kikorangi, what am I talking about? Food, trees, animals, colours. Is Fero white? You're honestly asking the wrong mm. person. I didn't do any more. Yeah, it was colours. I painted. I recognised that from a song. Pango, what is that? Seven out of ten. Carpi. Carpi. Yeah, I think I did well. Carpi is also like, good job, like well done. Um, so hopefully you guys learnt something from that. I kind of did. <laughs> um, the ones I got right, the ones I got wrong. Like, I don't, I don't know what this one is. I'll keep it on the screen. Um, some of making noise, but also making dinner, so I can't complain. Um, but yeah, I thought that was fun. Um, what else? So we are going to have dinner now. What is dinner? Let me have a look. Someone shared earlier today a Maori dictionary, which is way better than Google Translate. So let's go dinner. Hapa. Oh, this one actually has a sounding thingy. Okay. Quick question. Hapa. Hapa. Um, and then Kat, I did check with Leah, um, who's also a YouTuber and has an Instagram called It's Miss Leah. I will link both below because you should definitely go find, find, follow her. Um, especially this week because she's doing kupu. Is that word? I can't remember of the day. Um, oh, I can't even remember today's one. Hickey. Something like that was eggs. Let's let's check what eggs is. Ugh. That's totally different. What about egg? Oh! Hickey. 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 Uh-huh. Um, but yes, I will link her stuff down below if you want to go follow her because she will be way better at pronouncing things than me and she'll know so many more words than me as well. One thing about growing up in Auckland, I don't know what it's like in the rest of the country, but if you pronounce Māori words correctly, people look at you weirdly. Like, as if, okay, whatever, shut up now. Which I think is really negative. For example, like, Tauranga, Taupo um, are two places in New Zealand and that is not how you pronounce them. But if I said, we're going to Taupo or we're going to Tauranga, people would look at me like, you're a tryhard. Which is, it's kind of, a, well, it is a shame, really. And I think that's why I, like, every time I say something, I kind of, like, wince, like, oh, I'm saying it wrong. Because it's uncomfortable to try and say it correctly. Um, I don't know if that's the same where everyone is. Um, and obviously some people are like, that's awesome. Or they'll correct you. Um, but it's just, it's almost more comfortable to say the incorrect way of pronouncing things. Which is, again, not okay. 
so i'll try my hardest to say them correctly and especially now i think more people are taking a um interest in how to pronounce things properly which is cool um but yes give it a go let me know below um, some words or phrases that you know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you appreciated my efforts. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe down below. And I'll see you all again soon. I want to get this video up tonight, which is why I'm ending it now. So, yes, thanks so much for watching. And yes, I'll see you soon. Bye!